Now, I think they're going to end up scattering themselves, but what we'll, we'll really pay attention to is making sure some of the key people who do most of the speaking yep. are easy to get access to. It's probably in their interest if they're a little spread out. If they, uh, you know, if they sort of want to be issue. What's happening here? Don't ask. Don't oh, ask. Okay, just go on as if everything was I'm sorry about it. Yeah, but the one first, time. The normal setup is we never set our tables this way. No, I know. But well, I guess we're doing that for the camera. I guess. Oh, was that done for the camera? Because mm -hmm. I was just going to rearrange it. How did you want to rearrange it? What would. Just so. What's on, uh, what's with DU? I got a call from Hillary. Yeah. I guess we should put Tim up there, eh? On the budget. He does look as though we're going to get. Well, that's all going to be up for discussion. I better keep it. Mind you, sometimes there's something really. Well, you want to see something scary? We're kind of wandering. Well, we'll so Who's the conservative candidate in Crescentwood? Ta da! Three times. <laughs> Marginally demented. 
No problem. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good to see you. Health and safety. I'm doing the agenda. I'm doing the agenda. Oh, oh crash, crash, crash. <laughs> Started here. Yeah, they're on the agenda. Yeah, come on up front. Come on up. The agenda is the march of the unemployed tomorrow. Report back on the budget, John. Uh, an announcement, re Jim Sale. Cuba Solidarity, Project Peacemakers. United Way, Sell. So that would be uh, John Yeah, OK. Uh, report on the city budget. Where is, where is? Surely. I think so. Uh, a report on the competitiveness learning community talks, sell. The suit against the Aboriginal people, Kathy, if she gets here. Uh, proposed manifestation, read Preston Manning. <laughs> CJOB report back. 
Report on Assiniboine Diversion, Don, Nabet, Gene, Linnet, Rich, S City FM Billboards, Gene, Post Adopted reg Adoption Registration Coalition, Gene, Speaker System Cell, Status of Women Name Change, Gene, Ducks Unlimited, Don, and something about the zoning board from Sources Unknown. Ah, sure. <laughs> okay, so let's let's try to deal with some of these things as fast as we can. The which? ACN. ACN. What? Acne. <laughs> Who's doing that? John, can we have a report on the budget? Draft almost finished. Wow. Yeah. Days in advance. Yeah. <laughs> and another draft on route. And the production team is still complaining about uh, how little time we have. It's working out reasonably well. The numbers are coming together. There are a few areas that we don't know much about, but we can touch. So I, I, think, uh, I, I think it's going to be fine. Paul Phillips has agreed to present it. Please present on my behalf, the economic side. The proposal was that uh, Gene and uh, Tom would also be here. Don, feel free to help us. Gene is not able to make it. And we need a replacement. Any volunteers? <laughs> Gene is not able to be there, and we need a replacement for Gene. Sorry, I'm tied up all the Tuesday. Kinky, kinky. Yeah, we need, uh, well, yeah, but do you have Kathy? any hot ideas about who? How about, the, how about Kathy? Yeah, Kathy, Kathy would be my first choice, yeah. Yeah. since she isn't here. Yeah. <laughs> first of all, you're Kathy. Then it's Kathy, yeah. Okay. Uh, Where, John? Uh, that's being worked on. We, okay. It's not going to be in the legislative building. <laughs> frankly, frankly, it's being used. <laughs> But uh, we're, uh, we're working on St. Matthew's Church. Oh. All right. And I, I should say, by the way, that it's gone, this year has gone very well. There are a lot of people involved, a lot of really good ideas, a lot of hard work. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody. I am leaving town, but that's nothing to do with the <laughs> quality of the product. <laughs> I, I think it went really well this time. So we're going to find out if he really is a ceases plant. He's led us down the garden path. He's going to be gone. We're going to be hung out to dry. Plung, plunging the province into financial <laughs> Okay, further? All right, perhaps we could... I'd do like it. a round of applause for the people who are We're going to wait until after the event. <laughs> 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 Um, should this go on the action line, and when will I know the details in order to put it on the action line? Do, do we want our folks to know, or anybody who calls the line to know, or is this a surprise? Or? I'm assuming it should be here this morning. How, how are we going to handle after the media event? Are we going to be mailing out all our, our budgets to everybody, or like last year? Well, we, we've got... Um, We've got a document which looks very much like last year's big document. The thinking in the group was that we should not be circulating that widely, but we should circulate instead a, a larger pamphlet than the one we had last year. So it would be a four-page spread, fairly, fairly sizable one. Um, I told Paul Phillips last night, he thinks that we ought to be sending some copies at least of the bigger document to people like Francis Russell, and Martin Cash, people like that, who might read it. It's something to think about. Are we also planning to be uh, at the ledge to comment on their budget? And so, can we anybody do that? We could be. Yeah. Victor, last year, uh, you were at the ledge when the Tory budget came down and you managed the media very well for us. Could we do that again? 
Wednesday. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything further? My question is, should it go on the action line? Yeah, as soon as we have the information, I think. Uh, I suggest Fletcher. Fletcher. Well, you have several people. Yeah. Fletcher. Do introductions this morning because we have too many people here. And we won't start here. Aaron Nestor. I'm Bob Eason. Del Burrow. Jim Sale. Harold Easter. Todd Kellerman. Alan Zurek. Alan Kreisler. John Olson. Julie Altemeyer. Jeff Rowe. Todd <laughs> Sullivan. Shirley <laughs> Gord. Rich Orwin Dean. James Hatcher. Todd McKee. And I'm Weldon Epp. Also from Weldon. Okay. Richard Hunter. Victor Dostak. Well, um, not, in, not intentionally, but just because we're sort of focused and working on things, and we want to make people who are here for the first time feel like it's okay to raise your hand and say, could you give me a 30-second understanding of what you're talking about? Um, okay? Okay, the next item is one of our members of Choices has gone over to the other side of the <laughs> politics, and uh, I think everybody saw them. <laughs> the announcement in the paper that Tim has put his hat into the paper, uh, <laughs> into, into, the, into the ring for the Crescentwood nomination of the NDP. Um, I know that there's been some discussion uh, around choices, and I think uh, can you have a few words you want to say about all of this? No, I didn't have anything I wanted to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to I think it would be appropriate, though, if John Watson uh, did not quite write to uh, Gary Tillman and thank him for the profile that he yeah. gave uh, choices. <laughs> which he we made the free press! We He's the largest amount of coverage. Uh, I did speak to the Premier and Porter about that afterwards. Said when the premier makes a fool of himself, who am I to stop him? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just kind of left it alone. But I'd like to thank people for their uh, support. A lot of people have called, and a lot of people have said they would support, and I really appreciate that. And I'm really sorry for blowing our cover. I mean, now that people actually know we're a radical group, I guess we won't be as effective anymore. I understand Jim has been very busy signing people up and that sort of thing. Uh, we got to watch the, the uh, infiltrating the NDP from here. Especially on Lanark Street. Lanark Street, the, the River Heights uh, socialist group. I had a mother who told me to make. When I was a little Tilmer at the Federal Trade Union, I was party's ambassador supposedly, and I would like to propose that we, we offer the Conservative Party a candidate for the riding to run against me. In fact, we could supply the Conservative Party <coughs> with some of the, each of the writing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We start a big farm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a serious proposal? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, think we should, I think we should hold a press conference saying that we yeah. were prepared to supply the Conservatives with as many candidates they wanted to strike them and see how that would fly. Well, I, I, uh, I think that you have to make that decision, but I would prefer you didn't do that. <laughs> 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 Welcome at Friday morning here. I didn't say these sitting politicians. Um, do we as an organization need to talk about implications of folks that have been key and crucial to choices once they are going for a partisan office? What do people think? Well, we have several former candidates who have clearly identified as partisan. Um, I think the issue is once somebody has
as a formally elected position, then uh, they have a different status. And we can throw them out after you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, we're, we planned our first three manifestations against you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm organizing. <laughs> It's really hard to get a pinata trick for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think a uh, congratulatory note is in order here. To who? Uh, to Tim. Uh, I think it's good. Uh, it, it's part of coming of age of choices as well, that out of our ranks we're getting people looking very seriously at office. So I think. Tim is to be congratulated, and I know that he's going to be looking to a lot of us for support in any way that we can. Uh, one of your colleagues has felt it important enough, actually, to uh, has got a <laughs> bring that along this morning. And, uh, it's got a wick in it. Yeah, it's got a wick. <laughs> <coughs> we couldn't find a round one, so. Uh, that one's got a fusy on the top. We're not sure. I'm going to trudge along here with the uh, oh, on agenda. Thank you. Uh, the next item is we have a, a, I hope, a very brief report from Project Peacemakers. You want to? Jesse Sotu and May. And they would also like to do one in Winnipeg. And so Project Peacemakers um, is planning on sponsoring that and is looking for some other groups to co-sponsor that. Um, I raised it in the last uh, call, call I guess it was in October. I'm not sure when that was. Later, 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 later. Okay. And at that time, uh, Carolyn Krebs uh, was interested, Alan was interested. Uh, So it's a fairly up. But I guess what is interesting is what uh, sponsorship, what is it going to cost? <laughs> what, do we, what do we need to do? How much is it going to cost? Here's the, our, our sponsor. Here's our organization. Um, okay, well, uh, giving, like, their cost is going to be $100 per trainer per day. And, and what we're looking at now is four days and two trainers. And we would want to run two simultaneous trainings, one during the day at some, some time and one in the evening. They'd both be like three hours a day. And given the uh, amount they charge, um, they charge at some other training trainings in Canada, um, if it's $100 per day and there's a number of co-sponsoring organizations, we're estimating that 